So today I'm going to cook something a little different in the air fryer. I'm going to do pork chops. Um, I usually get pork chops about yay thick, but I decided to go thinner since, uh, you know, the air fryer, I don't know how it's going to work out. I also didn't have any veggies on hand besides broccoli, and I didn't want broccoli today. So uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to make some, uh, some garlic bread, and that should look uh, and taste pretty good. I did have an audio mishap, so some of the audio was lost, uh, so I'll be doing some voice over here. So let's get to it. This time around, because I wasn't sure how well the usual thick pork chops I bought would cook in the air fryer. So we're going to give this a go this first time around. Uh, seasoning these with a little bit of salt. Not too much. A little bit of pepper. The pepper could be a pain sometimes coming out. A little bit of garlic powder, not too much. Rub that in, and we're going to flip it and do the same thing. A little more salt, a little more salt, pepper. And a little more garlic powder. A bit more and uh, spread around all that uh, spice goodness all over the pork chop. Normally I wouldn't put olive oil on this, but I'm worried about the air fryer drying things out a little bit. Using the olive oil spray simply because it's easier. Normally I would get the bottle and pour it on top. Uh, we'll do this, flip it over in the air fryer, and then repeat the process. Can't forget to put in that parchment paper. Remember, we're putting in the pork chops oil side down so that we could spray another layer of olive oil on top. And a little more olive oil. Here I'm just putting the pork chops in the oil fryer and plugging it in. Normally I cook these on the grill, so I would cook it for two minutes on one side, flip it over, two more minutes sear it, then I would spin it 45 degrees, cook it a few minutes, and then finally I would flip it over and then finish cooking. We're gonna cook this at 370 degrees for 15 minutes. That should be more than enough. We're gonna start this up and move on to the garlic bread. No clue what I am saying. I'm probably talking about how great the pork chops are gonna be in. Uh, I have no vegetables, so I'm gonna cook some garlic bread. Uh, garlic bread, I throw a little bit of everything in there. Butter, oil, salt, pepper, whatever I can find. And uh, I don't only have uh, fresh sub rolls from BJ's. I really don't have those really big loaves of Italian bread that I would cut up into big chunks and uh, use some of that. Uh, so I'm going to use what I have on hand. Okay, first things first. We're going to cut the sub roll in half. And being careful not to slice my fingers off in the process. Next thing on the list is butter. Lots and lots of butter. This butter actually isn't uh, just regular butter. It's butter with canola oil. That's just what we happen to buy. I'm not going to buy margarine. Margarine is probably the worst thing you can put into your body other than soda. Now that the butter is on, I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. I'm not going to use the spray because uh, there's no need to. Uh, this is going to go right in the toaster oven. I'm not worried about spraying on any of the nonstick surfaces, so we're going to put a good amount on there. Next order of business, I'm going to put some salt on. A little pepper. Sometimes it's stubborn getting it out. I'm going to shake it a little extra. A little garlic powder. And we're going to put on some rosemary leaves. Mostly for the smell, some for the taste. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Last but certainly not least, Parmesan cheese. Lots 
of Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. Here you go. So, uh, some people will also, once it's done cooking, slice up some tomatoes, put on top here. For me, that comes from the Italian side. We're going to place those in the oven. We're just going to wait it out now. Okay, so we got uh, six minutes left on the timer. I am going to flip the pork chops. Here's a look at what it looks like right now. Flip both of those, and I'll finish up the remaining time. I've also started the garlic bread. I'll probably need about eight minutes for that, or when the cheese is melting, the toast, the bread starts to toast up nicely around the edges. Ah, the garlic bread is done, and it looks like the pork chop is about to be done as well. Okay. Ah, oh, that looks nice. Get me another plate here. One, grab two, a lot of juice in there. I'd like to grab some of that. And we've got the plate right here. We're gonna put the garlic bread on. One, two. So let's cut up some of this pork chop here. really didn't need this much, but it was only one piece. Wow. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Normally I don't cut everything up first. I'm so like enamored with eating it and it's so juicy looking that I just bite and eat it all at the same time. So let's check this out. Oh, which piece first, which piece first? That's, wow, that's really good. And hot. Oh. Wow. I wonder if it's because the parchment paper was there and it held all the juices and all the salt and spices and they kept it there. It just really got the flavors going. Holy cow. I can honestly say this is better than doing it on the grill. Someone's not going to be happy with me saying that. And now to try a piece of my cheesy garlic spicy garlic bread and buttery mm. now I did that in the toaster oven because well I didn't want to wait well I'm guessing that the uh, the air fryer probably would have did a pretty good job but toaster ovens easier it's a little easier so it's clean down if the crumbs drop down in the toaster oven but uh, you need to try it. It is extra good today. Maybe because for lunch I'm used to eating crap. Mm. Get me another piece of that pork chop. Ridiculous. Well, thanks for sticking with me. I apologize for the audio from the microphone. Had to do those voiceovers, which is probably not going to be so great, but I hope you get a lot out of it. And I hope you try this yourself because this is really good. It took maybe five minutes to prepare everything, 15 minutes to cook everything, 20 minutes. That's enough. I spend more time than that going to get my lunch and bringing it back. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me again. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. Imagine.
go to it.